technique of the week. Hey guys, welcome to the studio. I just wanted to show you this painting. It's one that I started on the live show last Friday. Um, every Friday we do a live show, there's live chat, and I work on a painting. This is one that I started with using brushes and paint knives. And I thought, you know, that's a great opportunity to be able to talk about paint knives. I've been getting quite a few emails and comments about how do you use a paint knife? Why would you use a paint knife? I think some people are a little intimidated by the idea of a paint knife. And probably because it has the word knife in it. <laughs> but this kind of knife isn't going to cut you. Let me show you two of my favorites. Um, this is the first shape that I, I ever had in a paint knife. And it's it's like a, you know, um, a trowel, sort of. But it's great. It's got this little point on it. You can get in, into some nooks and crannies. This is my other favorite one. It's more of a rectangular. It has a long line here and a short line right here. And it makes it where you can make big swaths. Like, on this canvas, I use both of these. And you can tell like some of these areas, you know, where like I was able to make it. They got marks in here. You know, the way I learned how to paint with a paint knife actually was by filling other people's paintings. Like going in and actually filling the, you know, the way that the paint knife went into the paint. Um, it's, it was like footprints. You know, it's just, it makes this thick paint, like impasto paint. Like if you think of Van Gogh. And it's just this wonderful feel. Like, I don't know if you can tell how much texture is on this, but it just feels amazing. It just, you know, it feels the way you think a painting should feel. The bad thing with a paint knife is that you can't get a lot of uh, heavy detail. Um, so usually when I'm painting, kind of like this painting here, I, I have both. I have the, the detail that I use with a brush, and then I'll go in with a paint knife, and I'll, I'll color, fill in these other areas. So it's just a, a really good way of, of getting both. The detail that you want, but also that emotion, the feeling, the excitement that you can get with really thick paint. Now, there's two basic kinds of paint knives. There's these kind, which are the, the metal and the wooden ones, which I prefer. There's also um, the, these plastic ones. Now, these are okay. They're a lot cheaper. I usually only use the plastic ones when I'm working with a material that's going to destroy the paint knife, like resin. Or if I'm you working on a large painting and, I, and I'm going to have maybe 10 or 15 paint knives going because I'm using lots of pots of paint and it's quicker if I just have a bunch of knives. So then I'll use them too. The reason that I like the metal and the wood though is because they last forever. Um, this was like the, the type of first, um, first type of paint knife that I ever got. I've been painting for close to 20 years. I've only had to get two of these. One of them I just accidentally broke. So, you know, uh, they're very durable. But also... Because I'm visually impaired, I spent so many years using a cane before I got my guide dog Echo. I got really used to using the cane and being able to feel like with the cane, you can feel all the nooks and crannies on a sidewalk, all, all the, the cracks, all this sort of stuff, and it gives you a lot of information of where you are. Well, these metal paint knives are work much the same way. They're rigid. They have a little flexibility to them. So as I'm feeling along the canvas, I can actually feel where I am a lot easier with one of these. And, and it also makes it easier to shape the paint. So they're just, they're just great. So let me show you this. So let me move this away. Let me bring a canvas in that I'm working on right now. So this canvas, well here, let me hold it up. Actually, this canvas is going to go like this. And I know that you can't see a lot with this. Like this is just blocking in. And remember, blocking in is just putting color on the canvas to start to begin the composition process to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So with this, I have that, and what it's going to be is that um, up here down, now of course it's sideways for you now, I put it here so it would fit on this easel for you, um, up here it's going to be towards the top, I'm going to have trees, it's actually going to be a forest, down here is going to be more of the land, I may, I may change this to an ocean scene, I just really like this as an ocean scene too, so it's one of the things about blocking in, I'm just putting the color in and then I'm letting the canvas dictate to me of what I might want to do with it. So, you know, I'm leaning more towards an ocean scene. Anyway, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> I'll show this canvas later on. But what, what I wanted to show you, so I have some golden yellow here, which is how great these paint knives are at being able to put down color. Now, you can do chunky color. You can do thinner color. You can have it mix. You can do all kinds of really cool things. Um, see, so I have some orange in here. I'm going to mix it in with that. Actually, this should be red. Yeah, yeah 
So that's, this is a, er, open it, open it up more. Okay, so I got some red in here. I'm gonna stick this in here now. So I had some orange, but I know with the yellow, I can make it a little more interesting than just what it was. So you see, it just makes it a nice way where you can go in and be able to really control the color and blend in unique sort of ways. You know, what I'm gonna do here is, this should be lemon, okay. So I got a lemon yellow. And see how these paint pots, it just makes it really quick. Like I can just grab the pot. Um, that's nice, I mean, I, can, I, I use a, you know, of course I use a palette as well, but for using these knives, it's just so much easier to grab this pot. And for these large paintings, like I just put as much paint as I think I'm gonna need in the pot. And I just clean it out. So, there we go. See, if there's anything crazy or, or, or particularly difficult with this, paint knives are just a great way to be able to spread the paint and get a different feel and look to it. You know, and it's just another tool that you can have in your toolbox for a painting. Um, you know, all we're doing is taking this pigment and putting it on a canvas, and you can use any tool that you want. I mean, look at Jackson Pollock. Oh, my goodness, that guy used cigarette butts, and he would, he would paint with that. I'm not recommending that we start smoking, <laughs> you know. I don't know. I, I, I guess if you did, it'd be like um, everybody with a smoker's cough. You think, "Wow, that guy's got to be an amazing artist." But no, don't start smoking. But do start using a paint knife. They are they are amazing. Well, thanks for watching me do this. I'm gonna get busy. This is too much fun. Well, have a good day. <laughs>